Good morning. It is 9 o'clock and I just started a new morning routine yesterday. I want to incorporate this morning routine into my daily habits and my daily life just because I think it's really grounding and I want to spend more time on myself in the morning. I know I normally reach my phone first thing and just do lots of scrolling but I, if I'm going to reach for my phone I think I should reach for these new apps that I have just downloaded. The first app, wait, let me grab my journal, and my water. Ooh, I start off the day by doing a little prayer in the morning, then it goes into meditation. The meditation app that I downloaded is called Third Ear. It has a section called Let's Go, I think, and then you type in uh, how long you want to meditate for, how you're feeling and then how you want to feel. So I'm doing five minutes waking up. I feel stressed, but I want to feel more focused. It says, stress wake up number one. I already feel more relaxed and calm. I was repeating all of the things I was really grateful for. And the second app that I use or started using yesterday is called Insight Timer and it has uh, lots of sound baths so you can go to guided music talks kids so if I went to music I wanted sun in your eyes above and beyond I'm going to be visualizing so I'll pick a moment in life that I really really want nailing an audition or getting onto Broadway and then I will imagine the people that are there and how I'm feeling. Kind of tapping into your highest state and realizing this is how I want to feel always and I want to bring this high energy into my daily life. So I will be visualizing to this sound bath in the third eye app. So today on this app it's uh, two days in total and the total time is uh, 37 minutes. Ooh. Okay, so now I want to do positive affirmations and this is the app that I use. It's called Affirm It. When you look at the app you will see a bunch of different discover affirmations. This week's affirmations, chakra balancing, sense of self, inner peace, clarity and alignment, etc, etc. So I have made a collection called Healing. Oh. So this app, Affirm It, is only free for seven days. Anyway. Today I'm going to do money and finances affirmation. I trust that my intuition is always right and I am able to listen to my intuition. So the reason I am doing affirmations on finance is because I'm living in a flat that I currently don't live in and I'm paying rent, a lot of rent, to live in this flat that I don't live in for quarantine. However, I'm extremely privileged and fortunate enough to be living at my auntie's and I'm not unaware of that. It's just a bit of a struggle trying to pay rent when I don't have a job. So I have a bit of stress around finances and money so I thought it would be quite uh, healing to do some positive affirmations and sort of these are more law of attraction because the way that they're set up are most like money is coming to me abundantly so you're putting yourself in the mind frame of receiving and you're clearing all of this negativity around like I don't deserve it or it's not for me I shouldn't be a rich person and you're saying to the universe that um, you're allowing it and you can you can receive you should you are allowed to and you can. So, yeah, that was quite nice. Next up on my 
camera cut out just then. We love to see it. Next up is to journal. And I am embarking on a challenge at the moment. Uh, Dr. Eric Thomas, E.T., the hip hop preacher, he said in his uh, latest album on Spotify that um, for 90 days you should write down your goals three times a day. Oh, that's a lot of times, but then you think how focused you are on your goals when you're specifically living intentionally, and it makes sense. And then he also said to write down how the steps that you're going to take to get to your goals, because it's not about I want to be an astronaut, like how are you going to be an astronaut? You can't just be an astronaut. Steps, actionable steps, very helpful. So, the night before, I'll write down my intentions. Oh, we're on day 31 of the 90 day challenge. This is what I figured out yesterday when I started this new morning routine, is I wrote down my intentions the night before of, and then I'll write them down this morning of anything that I missed. Erin May Henry said, with every interaction she gets to the point where she is intentional with everything, like every phone call, what does she want out of it? Not in a selfish way, but like does she want to strengthen connections to whoever she's talking to? And I thought about doing the same thing, so yesterday my intentions were to strengthen my bond with every member of this household. By setting that intention, I deliberately try and spend more time with family and make time for them because I haven't been. And yeah, it's just intentions like that that are just really, they will change how you live because when you're living with intention, you're not actively wasting time. Like for me, I'm always on my phone scrolling and watching videos and it's just not bringing any value, wasting so much time and when I set intentions and I'm trying to live intentionally I don't feel like scrolling for hours like obviously I still go on my phone because I'm trying to set up a social media business but I'm not uh there's a quote that was um I can't remember who said it but if it won't matter five years from now you shouldn't spend more than five minutes on it yeah, basically what it's saying is if it doesn't serve you or serve anyone. Obviously there's exceptions to this rule, this is not like a do this, live by this, but just, you know, when you're wasting time, just going down this deep procrastination hole, that's when this quote is relevant. Is this gonna be relevant in the next five years for you? So no, stop watching TV. But I think it's only for procrastination because obviously you should be allowed to have your downtime and you should be allowed to spend time just wasting the days and stuff because that's life we can't be productive 100 percent of the time because we're only human i digress i'm writing down everything that i have to do today all the meetings and set up and la 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 la, la things i want to get done today time blocking and intention setting and then I'll write down my goals. So it's now 11.37 and I decided to wear this nice dress but it's actually really cold so I'm just gonna pop a jumper on. I've had a shower as you can see from my wet head and um, yeah well I'm just preparing for the uni meeting which is in about 20 minutes and I did a um, chakra meditation on the app Affirm It and I've just seen that uh, it's a seven day free trial. I'm not sure how much the subscription is. But if I think that if I can do the affirmations consistently for the next seven days, well, five days, then if it's not too expensive, I think I might invest because I really want affirmations to be a part of my daily life they have just been really helpful when I do do them. Actually, I'll show you. I do have these meditation cards. Mindfulness and meditation cards. This is, came with a pack from The Works, which is like a stationery bookstore in England. Um, it comes with quotes to meditate on and it has affirmations. So, every morning I am born again. What I do today is what matters most. So these are good because they're physical. Sometimes you don't want to look at a screen in the morning, although I do, which is something I'm working on. So I don't want to just like look at my phone first thing in the morning 
or I don't want to go on social media first thing in the morning. It was just like setting yourself up for a, just a weird day if you're putting yourself in the mind frame of I will just scroll for an hour as soon as you wake up. Like, didn't you just scroll for four hours before you went to sleep? I also need to work on not doing that in the evening. So morning and night times are kind of like my ritual time, the time for myself. Which is something I am working on because I want to focus more on not giving into tech and not diving into the depths of social media right before I go to sleep and right after I wake up because I also suffer from <laughs> the worst nightmares every night. I get a lot of night terrors, but irrelevant. Maybe if I centered and calmed myself before I went to sleep, they won't happen so much. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, let's get some breakfast. I'm hungry. So today, um, there's not too much going on. Because we're at home. I have a few Zoom calls. Actually, no, it's a lie. I have one Zoom call today with my uni to the whole story because everyone's universities are online and I do performance arts. So the way the art courses are translating to online is a bit crazy, but it is what it is. No one's better off than anyone else. We're in a pandemic. I just want to sit outside with my Weetabix. I've got a few minutes till my call. Yeah, I want to just sit outside because I haven't been outside in about four days. And my uncle and auntie are very fortunate they have a garden. So I like to come and sit outside as much as I can. See, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. Um, today I'm working on Healing for Artists, the Instagram page. I might start making Facebook posts as well, but I know this vlog is meant to go on for YouTube. Kind of a day in my life quarantine style. I kind of want to document my journey of how I'm dealing with my mental health because not even a year ago like October time I was had the worst mental health like it's terrible but we're here now and it's now May and yeah I just want to kind of put myself out here in hopes that it will resonate with somebody and we can kind of help each other out and make this community on this channel kind of a safe space for people to realise that you're not alone and everyone's on their own journey and it's at different paces and life is wild so yeah we can all kind of focus and regain confidence together so subscribe if you want to be a part of that I'm trying to dry my hair So I have a mentor, and yeah, I am a mentor, and I have a mentor, because I think that you can never stop growing, and I definitely am nowhere near a path of feeling like, ah, I'm done. I have healed, because I am done. That's not how it works. There will always be bad days, but there will also be good days. And my mentor is really helping me understand why I'm... Oh. <laughs> I just got hit by a fly. Let me understand why I react in certain ways. And um, one of the things that she said the other day was, Rose, but I struggle to get up at the time I say I'm going to get up. If I set the time for six, I'm like, I'm going to get up at six, and I'll plan out everything that I want to do, and then I don't do it. She said, maybe because you feel insignificant, and the fact that you kind of feel invisible, or that you shouldn't take up space you kind of allow yourself to be pushed to the side even in your own life which is wild and scarily accurate although I didn't realize it 
So, there you go. If you struggle to get up on time, that might, might be a reason that you feel a similar way to me. So, I'm trying to kind of throw myself into these uh, morning routine that I showed you earlier in hopes that I will realign myself and kind of get back to feeling like me again and feeling more confident in myself and hopefully be able to get up at the time that I say I'm gonna get up. Literally, it hasn't happened yesterday, it didn't happen today, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever unpackaging on this channel.